Okay guys, had a little retract problem. My replacement retract that came in today, or came in here a while back for the first bad one, lasted for a while and then today it crapped out again. So luckily enough I had a spare. I replaced it anyway. I also got my LEDs in, so I got the side formation lights on the blue LEDs. Thought I would make a little video and show you guys. You have to forgive me for the shaky video. I'm trying to do this with my phone. Anyway, the gear ups the gear is up right now. Anyway, gear down. The blue LED side nav lights come on. Formation lights actually. Along with the retractable landing lights that I did here oh, several weeks ago. And these are I've got them set right now to come on when the gear comes down. And then when the gear goes up, they come off. No, they go off. I'll walk around here again, trying to keep this from being real shaky. And the landing light's on delay. That is a 5-watt um, freewing LED for their 90 millimeter jet series that I used, that I put on a servo, melted the horn and bent it, and then I'm using the uh, free wing retract controller and the light controller. You have to have them in pair to have it turn on and off automatically. That just controls the light. And I'll show you the inside here in a minute, but I thought the blue LED uh, on the side looked pretty cool. Those are just little three millimeter blue LEDs that's what I found in my documentation hunt and of course I did the white light and they're actually removable here we'll go inside here and open the cockpit and yes I did put the intent on it I did find some that had it and didn't like didn't have it I kind of like it on there even though most of them didn't but anyway the holes they're in the side of the fuselage right here I'll cover this guy up there's a hole there, and of course then we got the one back here. This is actually for a tow bar to go into so they can lift up and down the tail. But these were actually lights. I thought this was a hook point, but it's actually a light. It's supposed to be a, a blue formation light. I don't know whether it's on all the time or not, but I set mine the way I liked it. But uh, a five millimeter LED fits perfectly in that hole with just a snug fit. You don't even have to glue it in. You can just shove it in a hole until it just comes out flush to the side. I have three millimeter, three millimeter LEDs, which is what I bought because I'm working on AB rings for jets as well in a bunch of colors. And I just put a spacer on it and push the spacer in there until the light's in there. So if it ever burns out, I can just pull it out real quick, solder up a new light, light bulb on it, and put plug it back in. And you can kind of see it, the wires went right there and right there. And then I'm using a LumaFly FAA little system because it's real tiny. You can get from Hobby King, and you just plug it into any channel, and it's got a jumper on it that it comes on and off. I actually have it plugged into the board right here, right next to the retract. So I'm powered it off of the channel uh, channel five that's on that board, so that when the retracts come down, it just feeds channel to it. So those are nothing, nothing more than power. Any one of those four sets of pins right there works great. If you put it over here on these. It'll go on and off with whatever channel, like rudder, elevator, flaps. I wanted it to be active with the gear. And I didn't have to use a whole lot of controllers to do it. So, and then of course, right here, this setup, which is stacked on top of the retract controller right there. This is what's controlling the folding landing light down there. And that's mounted on this wing only. So when I separated it, when I separate the wing and take the wing off, it's mounted on this part of the wing. And it's only a little modification that I had to do there. And I kind of took some foam and recessed it down a little bit to keep it all neat and tidy in there as possible. So anyway, and of course I'm using a, uh, I am using a Lemon 10 channel receiver. And I do have Motion RC's A3 gyro inside of it. Right now it's off, but I've got it on a selectable switch. That will turn it off and change modes on it. You'll see it when it comes on here. Let's see. Right now it's in the off mode. There. It comes on and off. And I did add a separate 
back. There we go. Anyway, there's a back, and it's just sitting loose right there in behind it. I spliced it back into the ESC, so I'm not using the ESC on the uh, BEC, <clears throat> which I do on most of my planes. I don't like using the internal BECs unless it's a real small plane that doesn't ha doesn't have a whole lot on it. But I added a lot. I added quite a bit on the, this one with the light, with the lights, and what have you, the two side lights, and then the rear tail light which I can program to either strobe, be off, or stay on. Right now I kind of like it on, but we'll walk through that one more time. Put the canopy back on it here. And we'll slide the cockpit shut. Yep, and I did make a sliding cockpit on the inside. So anyway, get down here up front. Gear up. Formation lights off, the landing light delay will go off, and it folds up. And for those of you that were interested, this was actually a really easy mod. Really easy. And the, I, it's on a delay, come on. It's actually hooked to the gear door channel on the retract controller which is why the delay is on like the p51 style doors that actually is plugged into what would what would be the door channels this guy does get just a little warm because it's a five watt sometimes i'll move the plug and move it over to the three watt constant on so that it's not quite as bright but at a five watt that sucker is really bright Yeah, that blinded everybody, I'm sure. Believe me, that thing is really, really visible in daylight. <laughs> I haven't flown it yet, but I've got it outside in the daylight, and it that light of all of them is really bright. Even when I plug it into the 3-watt plug, since it's a 5-watt, I can just put it on there, it makes it a little dimmer. But now I've just got to get a replacement right retract for this wing right here it was working great for about a week or two had about 20 cycles on it and then i went to power it up today after it's been sitting for about four days and nothing happened and it recycled it cycled up about half quarter of the way back and then just quit i pulled it out plugged it into the servo direct and the servo just the retract just quit itself so anyway one more time lights down blue formation lights and that completes my complete light mod. I was been waiting. I've been waiting for several weeks for these lights to come in. I ordered them, and now it's in. I've got my full light kit. The only lights that I didn't go ahead and illuminate are the, uh, I guess, what they call the formation IFF lights on the bottom. Kind of odd for the Sierra Bird, but that are back here, underneath this fairing right here, red, uh, red. It's actually, uh, was it red, green, amber? Let's take a look here. Oh, I take it back. It's actually on the other fairing. It's over on the co-pilot side. Starboard side. Yep, right here. I just paint. I didn't. I just painted these. Yeah, red, green, and amber, or red, blue, and amber. Since they didn't have a lot of green lights back in during this time, you saw a lot of red and blue instead of red and green. Because I didn't use halogen, and that's how you get them green like that. It's because of the, the halogen bulbs. Okay, I'll get this posted up, and hopefully my new parts will be in here. And after I get moved, I'm trying to finish up a lot of the stuff before I move out of here at the end of the month. And uh, I'm going to keep a few of my planes out so that we can still do some stuff. Like those two guys sitting back there. I'm working on a folding light mod for that. F5 back there as well. It'll have two of them, but they'll be a little smaller. And I'll probably get to that here in a couple in a month or so after I get everything moved around. And then of course my other my gasser, my twin Sato 82 top flat B25 that I've been detailing up and getting ready to it's one of my few gas planes I have left. Most everything else is electric. 
So, but this is going to be my baby right here. I got to say, I think the P40 is the best. And then probably second to that, as, as many Mustangs as I've got, I like the BF109. So to me, my two favorites of the 1400s right now are this P40, which I've known about for a while and been waiting for for several years, and the FMS109. That's another one of my favorites. Later, guys.